I think you'll be amazed at how easy it is to create these gorgeous roses. Right here, we'll begin by stitching a five spoke web with either color of floss. To start the spider web, you can see I came up at the center of the web with my floss and I'm going to go back down on the outside. I'll move to the next spoke on the web, come up and go back down on the other side and continue on the rest of the way around and knot it in the back. Bring your prepared needle up at the center of the web of one spoke. You're going to skip a spoke and insert the needle under the next one. Skip the next spoke, insert the needle under the next. Since there's an odd number, as you continue around the ones you went under the first time, you'll go over the next time. This time, when you're making the rows, you do want to let the ribbon twist and turn as you go through each spoke. You don't want to straighten it up. And you just continue going around and allowing the ribbon to form the petals until you get all the way to the outside edge. Now go under this spoke and I think mine is full enough. So then I'll just, by the next spoke, I'll go back down to the back of the fabric and I'll knot it on the back. That was much easier than it looks. Don't you agree?